Hello, good morning, Alpha here. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you visited the city of Zagreb or intend to visit the city of Zagreb. Now, I know you, my friend, who don't want to look like a dumb tourist looking at all these beautiful monuments and not knowing anything about them. So today, I am going to share some of the secrets, or not secrets, some history behind these monuments, especially in the Gornigrad, Gornigrad of Zagreb, which means like the upper town of Zagreb, starting from the Mandutsevat fountain. Now picture this, a trusty military general passing with his fleet of army needed some water to drink. Now playing a real life ninja, this guy took his sword, stabbed the ground and boom, water started gushing out. Now being a man of culture and you know what men of culture do, saw this beautiful girl by the name of Manda passing by. He called her, he said Mando do Shrozagre before then, which translates to Mando Oni or Mando Sweetheart, grab me or scoop me some water. And boom, that's how the city of Zagreb got its name from when the general said Zagreb before there and the fountain behind me got its name from when the general said Mando Dusro. At the city center of Zagreb, right next to the Mandut Sevat fountain, is the Yelachic statue. Now, this guy behind me is Ban Yelachic, in other words, Governor Josep Yelachic. He ruled the city of Zagreb for 11 good years. Now, this is the guy who could conquer your heart, spoke about four or five languages, was a poet, a military commander, all at the same time. Now, this guy is twice and left them like it was the worst thing to date ever. Now, that's a power movie theater. Respect to this guy. Now just a couple of meters away from the city center is the Zagreb Cathedral, as I like to call it, the tank. Now this building behind me has survived more attacks than your favorite superhero. Starting from attacks from the Mongols, attacks from the Ottomans, an earthquake in 1880 and recently another earthquake in 2020 that led to one of these spares falling down. Now despite all these challenges, the Zagreb Cathedral is still standing strong like incredible Hulk and still remains a symbol of history and faith here in Zagreb. Now we are in the Dolat market where veggies are fresher than your friend's dough. Situated just a short distance away from the city centre in Josep Pielachi Square. Now this market is about 100 years old which makes it one of the oldest markets here in Croatia as a whole. Now it is centrally located which makes it a convenient and bustling spot for tourists and uh, locals alike to buy fresh produce and uh, other goods. At the upper entrance of the Dolans market just above the stairs is the Kumitsa Baritsa which in Croatian translates to Godmother. Now this statue here is a representation for the women who used to sell in this market back in the days. Nowadays if you go through the market you can see men selling alongside with women. But back in the days there were only women selling in this market. So this is like a representation of those hardworking women that used to sell in this market and even up to today. And nowadays you can see tourists passing by and taking pictures here without knowing anything about it at all. But you my friend know something about it now which makes it three points for you my friend. Now that is the Gritch Tunnel, built during World War II, originally designed for wartime drama. Now the Karats have used that tunnel back in the past for safety when there was war in the city, one which is the War of Independence, now used for exhibitions and cool cultural events. It is open from 9 to 9, free of charge. It is quite long, spanning 350 meters.
behind me is the St. Mark's Church, constructed in 1841 during the 13th century, which makes it at least 724 years old, older than in the grandma's pancakes recipe. Now, the tiled roof there was installed in 1880. The one on the right is a representation of the three parts of Croatia. Croatia, Dalmatia, and Slavonia. And the one on the left is the emblem of Zagreb. Now, it is not open to public. Reason being is right next to it is the Croatian parliament. And there had been attacks in the past. And uh, security is quite strict here. So when you're up here, you better be on your best behavior.